The world has another emergency to deal with. China's act of aggression. Beijing is intensifying its crackdown at home and it is making fresh threats outside. We start with what's happening in the Taiwan Straits. China is building pressure on Taiwan. A few days back, the PLA conducted several drills. They happened around the island of Taiwan. These were large-scale exercises designed to train troops for combat. Chinese military spokesperson has issued a statement. He said the drills were quote-unquote military training for war preparedness. The U.S. is taking these threats very seriously from China. It is alarming Taiwan. Washington has approved a new armed deals. Taiwan will buy more than $1 million worth of American weaponry. What exactly are they buying? American tanks and other combat vehicle equipment. The moment the deal was announced, Beijing shot of a uh, statement, a warning, China wants the U.S. to cancel the deal. It says America is playing with fire. And today, China issued another warning. This one over Nancy Pelosi, the U.S. House Speaker. Now, a report says the Nancy Pelosi might visit Taiwan next month. Remember, she was supposed to go there in April, but then she uh, tested positive for the Wuhan virus. So she had to postpone her visit. Now, it could uh, happen in August. And reports also say that she will not travel alone. She will come with a delegation. Now, no American speaker has traveled to Taiwan since 1997. So this visit will be a big deal. And China is threatening grave consequences. If the House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi visits Taiwan, it will seriously violate the One China Principle and the provisions of the three joint communiques, severely undermine China's sovereignty and territorial integrity, gravely impact the foundation of China-US relations and send a seriously wrong signal to the Taiwan independence forces. China firmly opposes this. If the US were to insist on going down the wrong path, China will take resolute and strong measures to safeguard its sovereignty and territorial integrity. All the consequences shall be borne by the U.S. If Pelosi travels to Taiwan, there will be consequences. That is China's message. But what about the consequences China's own actions? Earlier this year, the UN Human Rights Chief traveled to China. The visit was supposed to be an investigation into China's abuses in Xinjiang. But it turned out to be a farce. It Mitchell Bachelet ended up whitewashing China since she did not meet any of the detained Uyghurs. She did not speak to any family members throughout her visit. Uh, she was with Chinese government officials. Her investigation turned out to be a guided tour. So after this formulation, she has decided that she will not seek a second term. He visited. Cheng Chang this week, he met with Chinese officials and he gave them direct orders. Shi Singpong spoke about Chinese Islam. He said Islam in China must be Chinese in orientation and that Muslims must adapt to China's socialist values. This, he said, will bring Islam closer to the Chinese government and to the Communist Party. What does this mean? It means they want to intensify the repression or what they call re-education activities. That's how China brands its persecution of uh, Uyghurs. Re-education. How does Xi Jinping defend his criminal policy? The Chinese nation is multi-ethnic, which is the characteristic of our Chinese nation. It is diversified not scattered or divided, but integrated. So I specifically use the pomegranate seed metaphor to say that the Chinese nation is a shared community. According to the practical results, our theory and policy in terms of ethnic work, our approach is good and effective. Good and effective. That is how Xi Jinping defend his policies and rigors. China is carrying out the worst genocide since the Holocaust and the world is taking piecemeal measures to deal with it. So you can subscribe Samar Hamdani and also hit the bell icon.